What's up everyone, this is going to be a breakdown of the man who made waves at the regs based Madden Classic tournament from earlier in the year, Tweez. I'll be pulling data from three of his four matches throughout the tournament, those being against Joke, Chaos, and Skimbo. Tweez accumulated many fans throughout his run by exposing the community to his dynamic under center offense out of the West Coast playbook where he often utilized formations such as single back spread and single back doubles wide open. These two formations accounted for 46 of his 80 offensive plays, resulting in a 57.5% share of his offense. Tweez ended up with four different plays being tied for his most called play at 11 times apiece. These plays include single back spread passing plays, smash corners, and deep outs, along with strong eye slot HB stretch and strong close HB off tackle. The interesting thing about these plays is that all of them, aside from deep outs, were mainly run against specific opponents, suggesting Tweez had a very clear plan going to, into each of his matchups. Smash corners and strong eye slot HB stretch were run seven times against Skimbo, as opposed to four times in his other two games combined. A similar case happened with strong close HB off tackle, where he ran it nine times against Chaos alone, although these numbers are slightly skewed as he ran it mostly to milk the clock when he already had the game comfortably in hand. Something really unique about Tweez's play selection is just that. The amount of unique plays he calls is absurdly high for the competitive circuit. Throughout three games, he called 22 unique plays from nine different formations. This means that 27.5% of his play calls, or about one in every four, was a play that he had not called before. In a meta where competitors who leave a specific formation are rare, looking at you gun bunch, someone who did so at such a high rate really took the field by storm. And not only was he running a ton of unique plays, but he was also mostly running them stock with no adjustments. Four verticals, deep outs, slot options, and smash corners all out of single back spread, were plays that he largely ran stock most of the time. Another thing that really stuck out to me was his play calling out of his most commonly called formation of single back spread. Out of his 32 plays out of that formation, not one time did he call a designed run play. However, when considering the options out of the formation are halfback draw, halfback cutback, and inside zone, it becomes easier to see why. Complementing the single back spread is single back doubles wide open, which to the untrained eye could be difficult to differentiate from the aforementioned spread. The two glaring differences are that the personnel switches from four wide receivers, one running back, to three wide receivers, one tight end, and one running back, as well as the fact that the tight end in the right slot steps up onto the line of scrimmage. Despite the many similarities, the play calling couldn't be more different, as over 57% of double Y open plays ended up being design runs, such as the halfback dive or the quarterback draw. This is an incredibly important detail to be aware of whenever running into anyone who runs this type of scheme, not only Tweez. Now statistically, through these three games, Tweez actually ended up never throwing a passing touchdown while rushing for three and housing two kicks. A crucial part of his offense ended up being his dynamic scrambling ability with Russell Wilson, who ended up rushing for 193 yards and a touchdown. Now if you remember, all of Tweez's play calls out of single back spread were passing plays. However, he actually ended up scrambling on 13 of those 32 plays, just over 40%. That's an insane rate, but considering he was averaging just over 12 yards per carry with Russ, I can't blame him at all. Rawls complemented the rushing attack by adding 224 yards and two touchdowns, mainly on the stretch and off tackle based runs that I mentioned earlier. Tweez was able to keep his opponents honest for the most part by leading an efficient passing attack where he went 18 for 23 for 229 yards and one interception in the red zone against Chaos. He ended up with no receivers cumulatively over 100 yards but instead distributed targets rather evenly on plays such as smash corners and deep outs from single back spread, where even Tanner McAvoy ended up catching five passes. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought, and let me know who you guys would like to see these types of videos done on in the future. Until next time, guys, take it easy.